Hello all my dear students I welcome you all to Chakra Academy in today's session we are going to discuss a very interesting and important problem from your chapter application of trigonometry in the last session if you remember we discussed question where they ask you to find the distance of the reflection of the cloud from the surface of the lake if you have still not seen the video go to the playlist grade 10 math cbse in our channel and do watch it it's one of the most important concept of your board examination so if you see the question in this question there is a bird sitting on a tree which is 80 meter high and you are observing the bird from a point on the ground at an angle of 45 degree after that what is happening the bird is moving ahead for few time right i think for 2 seconds and the angle of elevation is changing from 45 to 30 degree you need to find out what is the speed with which bird is flying so let's first draw the figure right because the most important concept in these kind of question is to learn how to draw the figure the moment you draw the figure perfectly these kind of questions are super easy let's solve it so we are observing the bird from a point on the ground so suppose the bird is sitting here you can mark this point as b this is a height of the bird is 80 meter the bird is sitting on the tree right so you are observing the bird from a point on the ground so suppose this point you can take as c now the bird moves ahead at the same horizontal level for how many seconds 2 seconds so you can mark this point abc we have taken you can take this as d and e so d will be also same as what 80 meter because the bird is flying at the same horizontal height now you are observing the new position of the bird from the same point of observation which is point c so what is the angle of elevation when they start it is 45 degree now what is the angle of elevation in the second situation it is 30 degree so you can assume that the bird is moving with a uniform velocity v meter per second so i am assuming the velocity with which bird is moving is v meter per second so what will be this distance ae distance is speed into time so this distance will be speed into time v in what is the time taken if you read the question the time taken is 2 seconds so this will be v so let's solve it so as you can see that we have two right angle triangles apply tan theta in both the triangles so in triangle abc what can you write in triangle abc tan 45 when you apply tan 45 tan 45 will be what ab divided by ac tan 45 is how much 1 right so it means ac and ab will be equal which will be how much 80 meters so this distance will be 80 meters now i will apply tan theta in the triangle c d e which is a bigger triangle so in triangle c d e so what is the angle there tan 30 tan 30 will be opposite by base opposite is 80 what is the base if you see carefully 80 plus x and what is x 2v 80 divided by 80 plus 2v correct opposite by base so tan 30 is how much 1 by root 3 So you will write one by root three equal to eighty divided by eighty plus two v. Cross multiply. So when you cross multiply, it will be eighty plus two v equal to eighty root three. So two v equal to how much? Eighty. You can shift on that side. Then take eighty common. Eighty root three minus one. Correct. So v will be what? Forty times of root three minus one. What is root three? It is given in the question. 1.732. So 1.732 minus 1. 0.732. Let's multiply. So put zero. Four twos are eight. Four threes are twelve. Four sevens are twenty-eight. Twenty-nine. So answer is twenty-nine point two eight meter per second. Isn't it simple? Yes, it is. The most important skill, like I repeated earlier, also is drawing the proper diagram according to the data cube. so you need to have a lot of patience practice it regularly right if you don't understand how to draw the figure in the first attempt read the question one time two time but it's all about consistency and practice every time you practice your speed your knowledge automatically enhance so let's take one more question similar to this okay students let's take this question If you see that this question is similar to the previous one only, but instead of bird, what do we have now? A aeroplane. You are observing the aeroplane at an angle of 60 degree. The aeroplane is moving for a time of 30 seconds. 
So obviously what will happen? The angle of elevation will reduce and that's what you can see. Angle of elevation is coming from 60 to 30 degree. Plane is flying at angle of 3000 root 3. Find the speed of the plane. So let's draw the figure quickly. So we are observing the plane, correct? Let me select the pen. Okay, so let's draw the figure quickly. So from a point on the ground, you are observing the plane. Suppose the plane is here at a point A and the point of observation is B. You can make this point as C. So plane is basically flying at a height of 3000 root 3. Now, the plane moves ahead. Now, the plane is at a new point. Let's assume that it is A dash. Mark this point as D. So, A dash D will be also same as 3000 root 3 because the plane is flying horizontally at the same height. So, this will be also 3000 root. So, now you would observe the plane again from the same point. Okay. So, what is the angle of elevation given? For the first case, angle of elevation is 60 degree. For the second case, angle of elevation is 30 degree. Let's assume that the speed is V meter per second. So in 30 seconds, how much distance is moved? This was the original height, right? And original position. Height is not changing, but the horizontal position is changing. So this distance is how much? As you know, that distance is what? Speed into time. I am assuming the speed to be V meter per second. And how much time is taken if you read in the question? The time taken to move to a new position is 30 seconds. So distance is speed into time. Now, again, same thing, apply tan theta in both the right angle triangles, apply tan 60 in triangle A, B, C. From there, you will get the length B, C. Then, apply tan theta in triangle A dash B, D. Then, you will get what? Tan 30 will be opposite by B to D. B to D is what? 30 V plus B, C. B, C you have already calculated, correct? So, the only unknown left will be V. So I want all of you to try this question and do write your answer in the comment box and let me know what is the next topic you guys want me to discuss in the class and share with your all friends and classmates. See you guys in the next video.